what is a mediation effect? What is a mediation analysis? And how can I run a mediation analysis? Hi, my name is Fabian Fröse. In this video, I will address these issues. What is a mediation effect? Let me begin by giving you an example. Think about uh, the example of a new English teacher. We have a new English teacher and three months later, the English proficiency of the students improved substantially. Then the question of the mediation effect is why? Why do the students speak better English now than before? So there is a new teacher, the independent variable, English proficiency of students, the dependent variable. What lies in between? Yeah, what connects cause and effect? In this example, one reason could be maybe better class atmosphere. The example of the new English teacher illustrated a mediation effect. We can also formalize this a bit more and have a more abstract model. In an abstract model, the new English teacher would be the variable x. The dependent variable y yeah, would be the English proficiency of students. And then the mediating factor, which you also call shortly m, would be the mediation effect. Typically, we would expect that x has an effect on m, m has an effect on y. If we enter all these equations into one model, then uh, we can also think of the direct relationship between x and y. Without the mediation effect, we would typically expect there's a direct relationship between x and y. And if it's a full mediation effect, the direct effect from x and y will be cancelled out because everything is explained by the mediating effect. Or we can think of a partial mediation. That would be the case if we enter all these variables at once, yeah, that uh, uh, the direct effect from x to y still exists. But typically, the effect size would be reduced because of the consideration of m, which partially explains y. So that we would call a partial mediation effect. So far, I've talked about what is a mediation effect. Now, let me talk about how to do a mediation analysis. There are different methods. I think there are three well-known methods in social science. The first one would be a series of regression analysis. It used to be extremely popular in social science. Recently, it's not as popular anymore, but still many people do it as of now. It was invented by Barron and Kenny. It is about, you have a regression from the independent on the dependent variable, from the meeting, the dependent variable, and then enter all variables at once. We will not go into depth because that's not really uh, the state of the art nowadays. What is more common is the bootstrap approach, which I will talk more uh, in this video. And then there's also a Sobel test. It's also somewhat outdated. So we have these different methods. Most common in social science is now the bootstrap approach. What is also still common is that you not just do just one approach, but you combine, let's say, two different approaches and you would hopefully see consistent results, results which would corroborate your results. There are certain assumptions of mediation analysis. All assumptions that apply to regression analysis equally apply to mediation analysis, such as multicollinearity and homoscedasticity. Mediation analysis also assumes a direct relationship between the variables x and y, x and m, m and y in principle. If you run your statistical analysis, you receive an output uh, of uh, the effects. What we would typically look at would be the following four things. First, we would check the direct relationship between the independent and the final outcome variable. Second, we would check whether x, you know, the independent factor, is correlated with the mediating factor. In another step three, we would check whether the mediating effect affects the final outcome variable y. Then to distinguish between full and partial mediation effect, uh, we would uh, enter this whole model and check whether m, 
you know, the mediating effect completely accounts for the relation between the independent x and the outcome variable y. Yeah, so we would control for that effect. And in the full mediation effect, the effect of x on y yeah, should be zero or no, no longer statistically significant. If it's partial mediation, the effect still exists, but probably would be reduced compared to, uh, to the uh, original model. You can test the mediation analysis via a process macro, which is available for SPSS, R and SAS. It's very handy, so I, I probably would recommend it. You can also do it stepwise and different wise, but that would be easy. So you would look at the output, you look at the p-value. If it's below 0.05, which is the common standard, we would conclude it is statistically significant. You would also look at the R-square of the model, uh, the variance. Then to check further you know, for the effects, you would look at uh, your moderating effect and uh, the confidence intervals. You would look at the lower level or lower bound of the confidence interval and you would look at the upper bound or the upper level of uh, the confidence intervals. And they should be both uh, plus or minus or at least they should not straddle or not cross zero. Then we would conclude it's statistically significant. Then also if you look at the whole model, you would like to check for all beta values, for all uh, coefficients and their effects. And then uh, you would look at the direct effects, x on m and m on y, and also the indirect effect, x on y, yeah, uh, to understand uh, your relationship. And then as well the direct effect, to understand whether you have a full or partial mediation effect. Now we have reached the end of this video. In this video, I've introduced you mediation analysis. Mediation analysis is being used to understand underlying mechanisms, why or how certain relationships exist. To test for mediation analysis, there are different methods. Nowadays, the most common approach would be a bootstrap approach. Yet still, many researchers complement such approach with the Sobel or with the Baron and Kenny approach to corroborate uh, the results. Alright, that's it for today. I hope that was helpful to you and I would like to say bye bye.